When we receive the invitation with this title, How Will We Live Together? It was kind of obvious that we had to present a project we had been uh, developing, Forest Company and a Mapuche Association of Communities that have had a very long history of conflict and uh, they were trying to find the way to answer the question. Our contribution as architects was to translate into a project, into a proposal, these conversations that had begun almost a decade ago and we entered just in the last two years. And in the process of trying to answer the same question that the Biennale has but was the, at the core of their own relationship and conflict, we thought of recovering this old tradition of parlies. Parlies were these gatherings of Mapuche with foreign powers uh, that would create the rules of how to live together. It was with the Incas, then the Spanish crown, and then also with Chile when Chile became independent. There was the verb to parley, to agree, to have peace treaties. It had no architecture, so our challenge was to be able to find an expression to that gathering in space, to find the right architecture for, for these intentions. We had to put together some traces, some hints. Mapuche is an oral culture, and, and circular spaces, it's uh, almost an atavic condition. I mean, in order to somebody to speak, and be heard by others. It's naturally a circular form. There's also a certain neutrality. There's no hierarchy. Everybody has the same position in space. And that happened actually in all ritual religious spaces of the Mapuche. So let's say the footprint started from there, but the translation into space was not there. And uh, I would say we combined those traces from a circular footprint oriented east that is very important for the Mapuche world with an intuitive approach from our side that this had to be vertical, had to be visible. Those spaces were mainly horizontal and we had to make it vertical so that this process of rapprochement could be visible for Chile, for the whole country, and also of a certain size. Some architecture of the Mapuche is very fragile and disappears and we wanted this thing to last. So that's why we're using trees and not just wood. If you change the Chilean and Mapuche and put other parties in conflict, still that principle of in order to resolve our controversies and our, our tensions, let's get to know each other, suspend what we thought we knew about the other, and only then go and try to find an agreement may have a certain degree of universality uh, that can be applied to all other conflicts that we are experiencing in the world.